If you want to fast track into the hotel loyalty game in Canada, stay tuned. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Daniel, the Landmiler, and today we're going to be talking about Marriott Elite status. We'll be tackling what Marriott status can provide, the different status levels, and all of the credit card resources available to attain them. If you're new to the channel, I talk about credit cards and travel, so if you're ready to live it up at some four or five star hotels around the world, give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned. So why Marriott? For Canadians, the Marriott Bonvoy program is one of the most accessible for us to take advantage of. With the largest property footprint in the world, Marriott Bonvoy can bring value whether you're staying at longer term properties like residence inns or living up at the W's and the Ritz Carlton's of the world. Let's start with the basics. For staying at the majority of Marriott hotels, you can earn 10 Marriott points per USD. The exceptions are long-term stay and select properties like Element, Town Place Suites, Residence Inns, etc., where you'll be only earning 5 points for USD spent. Booking Marriott Vacation Rentals also earn at 5x. With Marriott, there are 5 different status levels. You have Silver, Gold, Platinum, Titanium, and Ambassador, each with their own qualification requirements and benefits. With respect to earning points on hotel stays, silver status members earn an additional 10%, gold earn 25% more, platinum earn 50%, titanium and ambassador earn 75% more points. This means that if you're holding titanium status, you would be earning effectively 17.5 points per dollar in USD spent if you're staying at a Marriott or a Westin, for example. There are also some key benefits when you have a status and depending on how you travel may make a huge difference. For simplicity, we're only going to be looking at major core benefits only. Unfortunately, for Silver Elite members, there aren't very many notable perks. At the Gold level, you will be offered a small welcome gift or points during your stay, 2pm checkout upon availability, and certain upgrades excluding suites. Not bad, but also not a game changer, mostly because room upgrades excluding suites usually just means you get the same room but at a higher floor. The more substantial benefits do come in at the Platinum status level where you will be getting access to 4 p.m. checkout, executive lounge access, complimentary breakfast, and room upgrades, including suites. I think the suite upgrades already speak for themselves. I mean, who doesn't want to be upgraded to a corner room when you're only booking a base room using cash or points? Breakfast benefits can also save you a ton of money with many hotels offering a grand breakfast buffet or different options at their in-house restaurant. An example of this is when staying at the Westin Chosun Hotel in Seoul, South Korea. The breakfast buffet at the Aria restaurant inside the hotel for two people usually costs over $100, but does come complimentary with your Platinum or Plus benefits. The same can be said for executive lounge access as well. Whether you're just looking to kick back for an hour or two, grab a drink, grab a couple of bites of food, having executive lounge access is always a plus. In many of the properties I've been in in Asia, even including some of the lower tier hotels like the courtyards, the evening service at the executive lounge usually includes finger foods, free flowing alcohol, and much more. And these major perks are all covered if you have platinum status or higher. Once you reach the final ambassador stage, which can only be done if you have 100 elite night credits for the year and $23,000 in USD of hotel spending, you can then get access to your 24 and a personal concierge. All of these benefits may sound cool at all, but the most important ones do come in at the Platinum status level. Although you do earn a bit more points and get United Silver status at the Titanium Elite level, I don't think in terms of upgrades it really makes that big of a difference. In the case of Ambassador status, where hotels do usually give preferential treatment for these members, it's usually one of those cases where it's not attainable for an overwhelmingly majority of people. So now that we know a bit more about Merit Elite status, how do we go about earning status? There are several ways to earn Merit Elite status and depending on which level you're aiming for could either be effortless or require a ton of spending. Method number one, simply put, is through organic hotel stays. For those doing hotel stays only, you'll need 10 nights for silver, 25 nights for gold, 50 for platinum, 75 for titanium, and 100 plus $23,000 in USD to maintain ambassador status. Irregardless of which Marriott property you're staying at, each night you stay does get you one Elite Night credit. If we look at the key Platinum status, 50 nights a year is a tough ask unless you're in a career that frequently has hotel expenses like being in consulting. This brings us to our second method, which is supplementing Elite Night credits with a Marriott Bonvoy branded credit card. 
On the Canadian side, if you do own either the personal or business Marriott Bonvoy American Express cards, you will get 15 Elite Night credits towards your total at the start of each year. This means by holding either of the cards alone, you'll automatically qualify for silver status, as well as reduce the 50 nights requirement for Platinum down to 35. Unfortunately, holding both the personal and business versions of the cards don't stack the Elite Night credits from 15 to 30. Which conveniently brings us to our next point, and that's that the US credit cards will stack those Elite Night credits. In this case, owning both a personal and a business US Marriott credit card will stack those Elite Night credits. As an example, owning both the Chase Bonvoy Boundless card and the American Express US Marriott business card will get you a total of 30 Elite Night credits. This effectively reduces your yearly qualification requirements for platinum status down to 20 nights a year. If you have the personal American Express Bonvoy Brilliant card, which does offer 25 Elite Night credits instead of 15, stack that with the business card, then you will get 40 nights a year to start with. This means that to qualify for platinum status, you only need 10 nights a year. Ironically, in this case though, is that holding the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card already gives you automatic platinum status. While having access to US credit cards is a godsend for anyone who wants to qualify for Platinum Elite status, not everyone can apply for them. Staying 35 nights a year to obtain Platinum status is still a tall order for anyone who's not staying at hotels very frequently. But after introducing the fact that certain credit cards like the Bonvoy Brilliant does offer automatic status, this comes to our next topic, which is credit cards that do offer status automatically. On the Canadian side, having either one of the personal or business Marriott Bonvoy cards will automatically guarantee you silver status. This really isn't much because any of the Marriott Bonvoy cards will give you 15 or more Elite Night credits per year, which means you automatically qualify for silver status year after year. But there are cards that will offer a higher status level in Canada, and that's the American Express Platinum card. The Platinum card offers a free status match to Marriott Bonvoy Gold Elite level status, all you have to do is call in and request a status match. But the Platinum card does not offer any Elite Night credits, so if you're looking to maintain Platinum status for example, you'll have to earn those nights naturally. Say you don't have access to US credit cards, but you do want to obtain Platinum status. Is there a way? Yes there is, and that's through completing a Marriott status challenge. You can initiate a status challenge by calling into Marriott and having one set up for your account. The current challenge seems to be for the contestant to stay 8 nights in order to get gold status or 16 nights to get platinum status. Once you've initiated the challenge, you have the rest of the current month along with the next 3 months in order to complete your challenge. And also, these have to be paid nights. Nights with points or nights with points in cash do not count towards the total. You can also only request this challenge once every 3 years. This is a great way to get the coveted Platinum status without having to stay the full required nights. If you're able to stay loyal to the Marriott brand for that one trip, then you have the Platinum status to use for the rest of the current year and the next year. For me personally, I've had Marriott status for around 7 years now, and they really do change the game in terms of traveling. For example, for anyone with Platinum or higher level status, you get access to 4pm checkout when available. Now this is extraordinary for evening flights, where instead of checking out and putting your bag somewhere in the morning, what you can do is you can go out for lunch, relax a little, come back, freshen up, and then get ready for your evening flight. Having complimentary breakfast benefits also really helps, especially if you have staycations or workations planned. Combining this with the free night awards that you get from your Marriott Bonvoy credit cards, status definitely goes a long way. And that's how you can pick up Marriott Elite status and some of the things that status has to offer. If you enjoyed today's topic and would like to stay in touch, give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to Land Mile channel for even more travel hacking content. That's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.